What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook and your girl is back with another video. I'm going to show you how I made my Jamaican style vegan curry goat in my kitchen fast is in simple. So if you're new here make sure you subscribe, turn your post notifications so you won't miss another upload and for all I'm returning goodies and I know some love on the right, let's cook. In my eyes I'm a star girl, hey, she give me love plenty yeah. She authentic Okay, my loves, let's cook. Now, this particular meat substitute here I'm showing you is for people who are allergic to beans. If you're allergic to beans, like black peas and chickpeas and red beans, any type of beans, you could go this route, okay? Now, I'm using my Red Mill Vital Wheat Gluten here that I purchased on eBay, and you could find this on Amazon okay you could find it on Amazon for sure now what you need to do to give it flavor is uh, some kind of a seasoning I use all-purpose seasoning here and the, this is the ultra rice combo season actually I did add the paprika to it to give it the meat like color and then I added a tad bit of salt to it as well and some black pepper now right here is where you could add your nutritional yeast flakes some people say them can't tolerate nutritional yeast if you can tolerate nutritional yeast you had it here if not you're going to leave it out okay just be sure to give it a good mix now I'm adding some homemade vegetable stock here very simple just plain old vegetables here I added probably about one and a fourth cup of the stock to it now if you don't want to use that you definitely can just go with plain solid water but I did combine the vegetable stock and water to my meat substitute here give it a really good mix using my spoon and of course you're going to eventually go into your finger works right so we go ahead and just knead it just like you've been kneading your dough it does take about about eight to ten minutes of kneading time to have the texture right and perfect now if you see that you might need a little bit of water just go really simple and easy a little at a time because you don't want to ruin the texture of your meat substitute so just add a little out of water a little water at a time not too much all at once and just keep kneading until it most likely it looks like that knead it like I said before eight to ten minutes you could either boil it or just continue to cook and it does take about 45 minutes if you're cooking it on stove top okay but this is basically that for people who do not want to cook with any beans at all all right if you're allergic to beans and you cannot tolerate nutritional yeast this is the way to go 100 good to go now this particular vital wheat gluten is homemade using bread flour and that is what we're going to be using to make our vegan curry goat recipe today right and i will in fact list the recipe the link for the recipe actually down in the description so go ahead and check that out i think i'm going to go ahead as well as list like two more ways how to make your vegan meat but this particular vegan meat does have bean in it that's why i showed you how to achieve it without the beans but either way you're curry whatever that you're cooking is going to come out perfect now like i was telling you good is this is made with bread flour and the texture is just like meat it tastes exactly like meat when you cook it up but always know when you are cooking vegan food give it extra added flavor that's why a lot of people don't like to eat vegan food because it has no flavor you have to flavor it up don't be afraid to play around with spices and herbs and all that stuff to give your vegan recipes a lot of flavor that way 
people always want to come eat the food because the vegan food tastes like regular food, right? So just go ahead and play around with your spices to achieve the best vegan recipes in your kitchen you could ever cook, ever. Okay, so you could either cut it up with a knife or you could just go ahead and break it up with your fingers. It really doesn't matter. It's going to be your choice of how you want your meat to be looking once you cook it. But nevertheless, it's going to come out the same in taste and flavor. Now, moving right along, I'm going to take you through all the other ingredients that I'm going to use to achieve this vegan recipe. You need onions and carrots tomatoes, scaling in time, we're going to add some tomato, pimento the seed and add scotch bonnet pepper that menanga pop. We're also going to add some coconut cream, fresh garlic, curry powder, herb balance butter, ginger, black pepper. We're going to also add our cumber season and our apple cider vinegar to the mix, right? Now let's get all these things together. Now in a pan, I added some sunflower seed oil then i added my vegan butter okay and then to the vegan butter i did go in with the chopped garlic so you want to make sure you add that and your ginger now the ginger is going to combine everything give it flavor but not only flavor is going to give it a nice little thing to make your belly mellow out whether you're using turmeric or curry powder or whatever kind of powder that you choose to use you do need to add your garlic okay so that your stomach will tolerate that mix right there now I did allow that curry to burn with all the other ingredients for about 40 to 50 seconds Now after that 40 to 50 seconds, I went in and added my Vital Wheat Gluten. Now if you are going to use the one that I showed you first, that first method, you would just break up the meat or cut it up after you have kneaded you're going to add it in just like you're doing here. But this vital wheat gluten right here was already cooked. So I'm going to cook just the vegetables to simmer down. But if you were cooking it from scratch, like I showed you in the first clip, that is going to take 45 minutes of cooking time, right? We get that, right? All right. So now let's turn it up. We're going to add all our vegetables here. Your onion, your carrot, your potatoes, it's kind of in time, all of other good stuff. Your pimento seed and your hot scotch bonnet pepper. Here. Now, after you've done that, you go ahead and add your coconut cream. I'm, I'm not adding too much, but I'm only cooking for me, y'all. Now, I did add one cup of my homemade veggie stock, plain simple veggie stock here, and some apple cider vinegar because I never cook without that. To give it flavor, a little bit of black pepper here. And then some of my combo seasoning. I love my Ocherous combo seasoning. You could substitute that for all purpose seasoning here. Make it flavorful, right? I did go in with some garlic powder, honey. Turning up a notch with more added flavor. And some onion powder for sure. All right, so make sure you get that combination going. All I did was add those things there. I gave it a nice spin, turned my fire down at a medium heat, goody. You don't want to cook it too fast, so be sure that your stove is on a medium heat here. And you are going to cover this up and let it simmer and allow the potatoes and the carrot to cook and tenderize and the gravy to come together. I would say it takes about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes and the thing has simmered down and it's all done and it's looking perfect like that. Nothing, no, nothing else needed to be added here. You are all set to go, honey. This vegan curry goat recipe is the bomb.com. I just love it. I, I probably, I think I have this every single week. I love me some vegan curry goat recipe here oh my goodness the thing is so good 
you just have to give this recipe a try you could have this on rice and peas white rice um, potatoes spaghettis macaroni eat it up with some festival but honey I just went all plant-based here everything was plant-based the thing was massive the thing was delicious it was so good good it you know, I forget the recipe I try now all you have to do for your girl here is spread the love with all your friends and family tell them what's going on up over here bring them come and send them come I'm waiting after you get done doing that tell me what you like to have me cooking next in the kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy